Well, welcome back to Balance Chi Life Modding. Today we will be doing something um, that's pretty, pretty simple. Um, I will be using a node called cast. I almost never use this one. It's cast nodes to sphere, to prism, and to cylinder. Okay, so what is this cast node does actually? It's a uh, pretty simple, right? If you have Suzen and you plug this in and you want some kind of output so you have your draw plug in the vertices you can see that Suzanne head is now a sphere because it's casting it into a sphere you can change it into prism which is rather like a cube it's actually kind of funny and uh, also a cylinder and there's also UV sphere uh, then you can play around with this the strings, the meridian, parallels. Uh, I like this uh, this prism. Seems pretty funny like that. Suzanne head, but it's cube, but it's like default cube, and you can bake it out. Um, hey, my left left click is right click. Okay, I have to change that. Uh, input. Okay, so what else uh, can we can we do with this? So there are other options, but uh, for what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to show you, maybe we can use it with a cylinder. So cylinder, turning it into sphere. Something pretty cool that you can do with this is that you can use the the polygon face. So now see, I'm increasing the number of Efficient on the height of the cylinder So now the cylinder is almost like a sphere and this shape this shape is really interesting. You can print it out Because it's kind of nice. It's like a sphere but it's also a cylinder and You can play around with the height And if you set the number correctly or you can have this all this face that's facing toward the center so that can be quite handy uh, let me show you what I mean if I turn off the cap and let's save this very quickly so this is cast etc because I'm using cast node but, I, but I'm also doing other thing we can use the face as instancing tool. So what is that exactly? So the face normal and the position of the face polygon can be something that we can use. Okay, uh, let me show you. You can use something like polygon boom. To separate each and every face first of all um, I can save that for later let's say if we have actual Susan head here and we want to use instance object instancing and we're gonna grab Susan we can use the matrix um, of the face to instance Susan. It's almost like dupli face of Blender. So here I'm getting the origin matrix of every face and I can just plug that in. And now we have Susan face that's actually being instanced. Let me try to increase the size of the cylinder. And increase the height. Uh, you see, we have Susan face that's kind of instance on the cylinder. Okay, at this moment, it seems like my computer is somehow super slow. I don't know why. Maybe it's processing Gmail or something in the background. Maybe I should turn this off.
Right. <clears throat> oh well. Let's save this. And let's rotate Suzanne. Is this correct? Well, still sideways, but anyway, you got you got the idea, right? You have you have objects, and you can instance objects uh, based on this, so you get all this Susan head that's kind of looking at the center. In the past, you can actually do a proper one where you use instancing and camera aim constraint into the center head. It's kind of uh, interesting. Uh, let me try. Rotating to then again R Y ninety degree Maybe I can reduce this number for now. Go to edit mode. This is the instance, and you want to rotate this properly. Okay. Okay, this is not so bad either, but anyway, it's a uh, Susan, and we have this way to control the positions in the cylinder thanks to the cast the sphere. Okay, this node is actually quite powerful, and there are a lot of applications for this, but just in this case, in this case, I'm just simply turning cylinder into sphere, and I think this is kind of nice. To show you that we can do this and like i said we can also use polygon boom if you like so polygon boom requires polygon and we can use this still with a transform mesh so transform mesh can actually work for each and every components of the object say you you are separating separating the face here but you can we can mesh join them again. So polygon face separated. However, they are all um, joined back together, and you can you can perhaps rotate each one of them. Slightly, sounds slightly complicated. So we're gonna rotate individually based on the normal. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. I forgot something. Yeah, I think we probably cannot do it that way unless we recalculate the normal. So, cancel that for now. Let's keep it like this. Keep it simple for now. It's supposed to be something super simple. So with the Susan head, you can rotate it 180 degree. Now we have all this Susan head that's kind of looking toward the center. There we go. Increase the number of head. All right, so yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for this uh, live noting. Hopefully, you find this uh, interesting and fun. Try this cast node and see what you can come up with. And this setup, that's uh, this is unfinished, but maybe you can figure it out. Basically, for each and every phase, you can control the transformations using this node. 
All right. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.